Hey guys, this is Dee here, and today I wanted to do a video on one of my most used bags right now. Um, I just kind of started getting into the luxury handbag uh, phase. Um, anybody who has had a collection for a long time, um, they can remember when they first started getting into handbags, they will stalk the websites probably all the time and wish list would change of course and then you know thank goodness that I have someone who already has a pretty substantial collection who can kind of you know kind of guide me through the process on you know what bags I should be buying what order I should be buying them in because you don't want to spend so much money on a bag and you not be able to wear it and it be multifunctional um, and it be able to suit your lifestyle so anyways I have this bag here. This is my first purchase, and it is the Louis Vuitton Alma PM in the Damier Ben print. And this is, of course, one of the classic styles for Louis Vuitton. Absolutely love this bag. Um, it's the perfect size for me. Um, I'm five eight. I'm on the petite, more on the petite side. Um, I'm size two. If anybody is wondering, um, so this bag is perfect. The GM size is entirely too big for my frame, so I stick with the PM size, so the medium size bags. And I have the older model um, version. They just came out with the newer model, if I'm not mistaken, last year. I have the older model version, but it's fine. So um, my bag, of course, it comes with the gold hardware, and gold is my favorite. If you cannot tell, that's all I wear for the most part is gold. I'm trying to get into silver. We're getting there. Okay. I just bought some silver jewelry like this past weekend. Anyways, so have this bag here. I've had it since um, December. Yes, I've had it since December of 2014. So it's been almost a year and this bag is holding up so well. I must admit when I first got this bag, I babied it and babied it and babied it because I didn't want anything to happen to it because I spent so much money on this bag. And I was like, ugh, because I was used to buying, um, Kate Spade was like my go-to um uh, designer that I would go to 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 get like handbags and stuff like that because I bought a bag from New York um, when I went a couple years ago and that was my first purchase and that bag was awesome um, now in terms of longevity no <laughs> no um, but I carry I I wore the hell out of that bag okay so anyways so right now I'm carrying this bag and I just bought this cute little puff it's navy blue it's probably not coming up on the camera uh it's probably coming on the camera it's black but it's navy blue and it has the gold hardware and look at look how shiny that is wow and it's the michael kors puff they are still in stores right now i think they come in about um uh, i think it's like maybe eight different colors or maybe six colors and a couple different sizes I think they have small medium and large or just small and medium this is in the smaller size this is a smaller puff um, I didn't want anything too big of course to go on this bag because this bag is not that big and didn't want anything to overpower the bag so this bag for me is my going out bag it's my bag when I want to be cute or when I want to uh, maybe dress up um, a really basic outfit like jeans which I rarely wear but anyways um so I've been loving this bag now the wear and tear on this bag right now I think it's really because of me because I use I don't use lotions anymore I use coconut oil to um, moisturize my skin so I think that's where the wear is coming from on the handles you won't be able to see it yeah you won't be able to see it um you see how it's kind of dull right here and then it gets shiny up here. Um, that's where I would hold the bag at. And I think because I wear uh, the coconut oil that over time it just kind of wears on the leather. So anyways, um, my zipper pulls have um, scratches and they're kind of scratched up. But they're still, I guess they're pretty shiny. Um, still have some shine to them. And this bag I keep... I can show you what all I have in there. I don't keep a whole lot because 
um you don't want this bag to get too stuffy and then you're not be able to close or anything like that so um in this pocket so i have the one with the one pocket here the slip pocket here and then on this side it has um i guess this was what, a cell phone pocket but i have the iphone 6 plus so it's not gonna be in there so in that pocket i just keep some floss and then in the other pocket i keep my chapstick i should keep this in my, my cosmetic bag but i don't um i have my keys um i have my nail um this is for my cuticles my cuticle oil and then i have in here my pochette my monogram pochette i bought this as well i absolutely love this thing this is my wallet okay those wallets are so expensive i'm going to get one one day but not yet i think i'm really going to be focusing on the bags first and then i'll buy the slgs later um but this thing is so 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 versatile for me because you can wear it on your wrist like this and when you just want to run in the store you don't want to carry your bag in the store um you can wear it when you go out i wear this i've worn this when i've went out before um and it comes with the the gold hardware there and then of course it has the paquetta tab because it's a monogram print and like i said i use this as a wallet Oop. yeah i use this as a wallet so i keep all my stuff in there and then i have this old cosmetic case that I got from Target or Target as we like to call it down here in Texas. I don't know if other people call it Target, but that's what we got. Um, I have uh, some hand lotion that I sparingly use. It's like if my hands are extremely, extremely dry, I'll put some of the songs from uh, Bath and Body Works. It's called Amber Blush. Um, that's the only time I use lotion. And then that's it. Uh, I don't really keep a whole lot in here because I don't want the bag to get heavy, especially since I don't have the strap to go with it. But um, I do have some other bags on my wish list that I want to get. Um, but this is my Holy Grail bag. I wear this bag with everything when I'm dressed up, when I'm dressed down. I wear this bag. Now, one thing I can say is that this bag is not good for shopping at all unless you have the strap. <laughs> because trying to carry this bag in the crook of your arm or trying to carry it as a top handle bag it can get on your nerves and in the way so i would suggest if you're going to get this bag then um you purchase the strap or you just don't necessarily have to wear it to go shopping in i i do not like wearing this bag when i'm going shopping so anyways um i thought that would be a good segue into my channel of course it'll be about fashion it'll be about style it'll be inspirational motivational all that good stuff um because i feel like i have a lot of um uh, gifts and a lot of talents to share with people and so i feel like youtube is the best platform to use it other than you know instagram social media facebook things like that but um this is the start of my channel and i'm hoping that you guys will stay tuned and without further ado peace and love have a good day